So this topic covers the fundamentals of the human organism and the contents of Unit 1, Section 1 in your manual. Although you will not directly be targeting individual cells with your massage treatment, these atoms, organelles and cells make up the entire human body and every component within it. As a massage therapist, you are able to influence the body on a local and systemic level, making it important to understand how it works. To understand them, we need to understand how the human body is put together. Atoms are the smallest and most basic component of the human body. These atoms then make up organelles, which build up to create cells. These cells further build into tissues, which make up organs, to then create entire systems. Systems are any group of tissues and organs that work together to perform a specific function. And these systems include the skin, or integumentary system, skeletal, endocrine, nervous, just to mention a few. Each system comprises a specialised group of organs and tissues. Organs are a group of structures performing the same function and can contain multiple types of tissue. A tissue is a collection of cells with a common function, such as the skin. There are four key types of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscle and neurological, which we will look at individually. As the last two are particularly influenced by massage therapy, they will be covered in their own sections in more detail later on. Epithelial tissue is a specialised tissue that covers all the exposed surfaces of the body, most notably the skin, but also the digestive tract and secretory glands. It comprises a series of layers of varied shaped cells, but is also characterised by a lack of blood supply and nerves, meaning that they get their nutrients and sensation from the layers below. As a result, their main functions are to protect, but also they have capacity to secrete, absorb and limited sensual capacity. Connective tissues are those that link one structure to another, most notably bones, cartilage, adipose, fascia, blood and muscle. They bind, support and protect other structures, but in some instances do have the capacity to transport. Their characteristics and location define the function, such as strength and structure from bones and transport from the blood. This is a unique example. Muscle and nervous tissue are the two remaining types. As these are so important and directly influenced by massage, they will be concentrated on in their own sections. However, in brief, muscle tissue is elastic, able to stretch and contract, allowing the body to move, while nervous tissue provides sensation and controls body commands, both voluntarily and automatically. Cells, then, are the building blocks of the human body. Every structure in the body is made up of cells adapted to their function, but all these cells have components, or organelles, that are common. The first of these is the nucleus. This is the control centre of the cell. It contains DNA and not only codes for the cell's function, but maintains reproduction and cell processes. Mitochondria, then, are the powerhouses. They produce energy internally. Lysosomes are the cell's rubbish bins. They remove waste products from within the cell. Ribosomes. These are the doers. They synthesise proteins for use in growth and repair. Finally, the Golgi apparatus. This is the sorting house. It sorts the information to help organise and create structures, but also direct structures in and out of the cell. Each cell has a unique function. And as a group, they are able to maintain a huge range of properties. They can filter water in the kidneys, control the body through the brain, and make us move via muscles, just to name a few. Stem cells are the most amazing bit of kit. They are unspecialised cells that have the potential to become anything. Any structure, any organ, with any function. Although through massaging, you will not be able to directly influence stem cells, they are worth knowing about. Research in animals is also showing that injection of stem cells into damaged or injured tissue can increase the rate and prognosis of repair. 
Just one other area where they are proving fundamental is in cancer research. Medical professionals are now able to harvest stem cells from an individual and then re-inject these post-chemo to help rebuild the immune system. So that's cells. Now go on and answer the multiple choice question and tasks before you start on the skin.